and um, I would like to just show you uh, the things that we'll be going through today. Right, so here's the outline. Um, I'll be talking about uh, the different types of water um, that we can buy off the shelf, as well as the different types of water that our kanka machines, our energy machines can make. We're also going to look into the properties of kanka water, which is mainly antioxidant, alkaline, microclustered. We're also going to mention on the molecular hydrogen. And um, we're also going to show you the effects of a different pH level of water. Okay, so this is uh, our CEO of uh, Energy, so Japanese. And um, the company is 42 years old. This is from the website. So the main aims right, is to achieve physical health, economic health, as well as a peace of mind, mental health. We have uh, 37 locations across 22 countries. Right? So this is not just in Singapore, but it's um, all over the world. And here's a medical disclaimer. Uh, whatever information that we share here, um, process it, see whether you agree with it. Right? This, is not, um, this does not constitute medical advice. Uh, and it's not meant to substitute professional medical advice. Right? Uh, consult with your doctor if you uh, intend to start on uh, any new program or diet. Okay, so here's a look at some of the machines. Uh, we'll take a closer look at uh, each of the different models. Um, I first bought uh, my SD501, gave it to my parents. Then I bought myself a K8 machine, which is the one on the extreme left. Okay, so here is the, uh, the catchphrase, change your water, change your life. Water is a very integral part of our bodies, and later on we'll look at a uh, percentage of uh, water in different parts in the bones, right? Something uh, that's interesting if you haven't uh, looked at it recently. And the meaning of the word kangen is to return to origin. So sometimes, uh, if you look at the, the evolution, when we are born, we are in a certain state, and through certain life stress and diet, uh, we have become, uh, our bodies have become um, uh, polluted by uh, external uh, elements and maybe heavy metals that are in the drinking water and so on. So the idea of uh, kangen, the word kangen is to return the body back to its original state where the body can um, maintain its balance. So water is one of the single most important substances in the world, but not all water is the same. Okay? We have uh, tap water, bottled water, reverse osmosis, distilled water, and then we want to focus today a bit more on natural reduced water and electrolyzed reduced water. So the kind of water is this, and for short we call it ERW. Right. So we're going to take a look uh, at this. Some of the other terms, if you uh, do a search, right, it's also known as ionized water, restructured water, and functional water. Okay, I'm just going to share a little bit about myself. Um, I own a music education company. These are some of the uh, student leaders that um, are training for them to be able to lead effectively. I've also conducted uh, corporate workshops, uh, workshops for um, business organizations like DHL. Uh, that's me right at the back, taking a back seat while my student is uh, leading out in front. And this is me in the front. Looks quite different. Uh, today I showed to my students and uh, they were sorry, is, is that you? So, this was about two years ago, before drinking kangen water. Um, I do my national service in the police force. So this is some of the recent pictures. You can see my face. Uh, it's a bit broader. It's November last year, end of October. Uh, lost a bit of weight. I'll tell you a bit more about uh, that. This is a more recent one, I think uh, last month. It's me over there. And this is uh, this month. Uh, this, this month. Okay, so why do I want to share uh, with all of you this presentation and a bit about my story? I think kangaroo water has influenced me a lot in my health um, and my nutritional knowledge. Later on, I'll share a bit more about my cholesterol level, my fitness level. Uh, my days on MC, uh, I used to be sick every other month. Uh, I haven't seen the doctor in uh, quite a while. 
I have gotten sick, but I recovered much faster than I normally do, and uh, I feel uh, a lot stronger than uh, when I first started. I first started drinking about um, mid August last year, okay, so less than one year. Um, I've also, yeah, my interest in nutrition, I've done a six week uh, nutrition course. So they talk a lot about uh, food, not so much about beverage. But today we'll focus on uh, beverages, different types of drinks. Okay, just the, uh, looking at the underlying ones. My personal goals is to have a super immune system and not get sick, not only just for myself, but my children, my family, my friends. And uh, number four, I hope not to have to rely on any long-term medication. These are the two uh, key things. All right, so back to the water. Over here, we have uh, some pictures of what we call miracle water. Now, if you tell a scientist about uh, miracle water, what do they do? They go and study it and look it under the microscope. What is inside the water? If you show it to a businessman, the businessman will ask himself, how do I reproduce this water? How do I create this so that people can have access to it without having to be at that location? So, the miracle water, the, uh, the, the name is natural reduced water. If you want to look up on the internet, on uh, PubMed, okay, the scientific name is Electrolyzed Reduced Water, or ERW. Okay? I suggest you go to this place because here is where you will find the medical journals. Right? If you find uh, Google or YouTube, you find all other kinds of uh, information that might not always be reliable. Okay, so look for PubMed. One of the key things um, in the in this electrolyzed reduced water, or even reduced water, is a molecular hydrogen. So you can also look it up. Right, there's therapeutic potential in 150 different disease models. This is research done, uh, over 600 studies, and this is the summary. So you can go and look it up further. Okay, so uh, our water machines, uh, you've seen some of this. This is actually on our website, SD501. And uh, we have a whole range of machines. And the last one is not a water machine, it's actually uh, a spa shower unit. Okay. We won't go into the details right now. You can uh, re check with the person who brought you to this presentation. Right, Enetic has uh, a ton of uh, certifications and um, one thing that we're going to look at is uh, this particular one, 13485. Um, to show you an example of some of our certificates. Okay, this particular one, 13485, I'll just uh, make it a little bit bigger. Um, this machine is so high-tech that um, it is certified for medical use. And it is currently being uh, used in uh, 200 over hospitals in Japan today. This is also from the uh, Energic main website. This is how our factory looks like. And there's one factory in Japan, Osaka. Right, so we'll jump into the different properties of water. Um, today we're going to talk about pH, and uh, it means the potential of hydrogen. Right, if it's pure acid, the number is zero. If it's uh, pure alkaline, it's 14. And neutral is seven. Tap water, in general, is neutral. Okay? So on the scale, it looks like this. So anybody wants to guess, is the human blood a little bit acidic or a little bit alkaline? Those of you who know already, then don't, don't say that. Okay, our blood is slightly alkaline. Right, slightly alkaline. And the body will do everything it can to stay in this range. If it goes a little bit out, then the body is not able to function at all. Okay? So, you can guess uh, where we're headed to. We, all, we obviously don't want to put the body out of balance by consuming things that are on the other end of the scale. I will put the body out of balance. Okay, so there are five types of water, but we're going to focus on the kind of water, which is the drinking water. Later on, I will talk a little bit about uh, the other types of water. Uh, clean water, beauty water, strong acidic, as well as uh, strong kind of water. Okay, so we'll just go one at a time. So there are three main properties. The first one is the antioxidation which means it's slowing down of oxidation. Uh, two, alkalinization, right, which promotes the balance of our body's alkaline state. Some of the drinks later on we'll explore are 
not slightly acidic, but very acidic, and it does have an effect, uh, usually a negative effect on the body. And then the third one is microcluster technology to an even better and faster absorption. And so there'll be some uh, demonstration here as well when we come to different points. So the first one is uh, anti-oxidation. So if you look at uh, an apple and you cut it in half, if you leave it in the open, the color will change, it will oxidize. Right? Here's an example of um, a jar of water, so ordinary water and uh, kangen water. And as you can see, the one with the kangen water actually uh, is clear, whereas the other one has already oxidized. Right? You can do this experiment on your own if you don't believe. And um, as we grow older, we age, we cannot stop aging, uh, but we can slow it down, right? And we can aim to age gracefully. I think nobody wants to age faster than they, they need to. Okay, so um, we are looking at uh, ORP, right, which is the oxidation reduction potential. And we are also going to take a look at uh, the different types of water. Right, some of them are on display over here. Okay. And as well as, uh, of course, uh, kangen water. Okay, so what we need to know about the, the values right, for the ORP readings is that any reading that's positive has an uh, oxidative effect. Anything that is negative has an antioxidant effect. It's not only in the liquids, but also in foods. And you all hear that eating a berries, blueberries, strawberries, have a very strong uh, antioxidant effect on the body, broccoli and many other greens. Okay, so um, we're going to take a look at um, this view and you can see where they sit on the uh, ORP, negative or positive scale. And we also want to uh, focus on, on these two. Right, this is what comes out of your tap water uh, if you are drinking straight from the tap water. And later on, we'll see the, the numbers for uh, for kangen water. So I asked myself, right, when I saw this presentation, is this antioxidant effect for real, right? Because you just look at the water, it's all clear. Is it for real? So I did an experiment. I sliced uh, the banana into small slices. One, I placed it in tap water. The other one in kangen water. I soaked for two days. I changed the water again, tap water with tap water kangen water with kangen water for three more days okay and this is what happened it's the tap water uh, i put a cover on the top and you can see that uh, there's some uh, things that are growing on the side and the kangen water one looks like this after five days some people go wow and then they ask me did i eat it the answer is no this was an experiment to see the effect I didn't want to get sick. So uh, you can try it on your own at home as well. Uh, if you don't have a machine, you can just collect the water from here or from the person who introduced this to you. So the kids and water have several aspects, right? Right now we're just looking at the first one. There's also the pH, right? Whether is it acidic, neutral, or alkaline. Uh, there's also a difference if there's uh, added minerals or if there's sugar and uh, also, if there's any hydrogen uh, that's dissolved in the water. Okay. So now let's uh, come over here and uh, discover the ORP values of the different beverages uh, that you can find in the supermarket. So we have uh, soda, which I uh, used to drink. I don't really like fizzy drinks. Um, personally, I like to. I used to drink green tea and uh, fruit juice in a packet. I thought fruit juice is healthy. And I thought fruit juice in a packet is the same as the fruit juice from the fruit juice store. <laughs> Apparently it's different. The one that you uh, juice uh, together with the pulp uh, is much more beneficial to your health than one in a packet. So anyway, never too late to, uh, to learn. Okay, then here we have um, water from NTUC Fairprice. This is a natural mineral. We have live water, and then the very famous uh, Evian water. And this one is a tap water. I forgot to introduce uh, this uh, lady over here. Is, uh, it's okay. My sponsor, Alice. Uh, she and her husband introduced me to this water, and I'm very thankful for them. 
without uh, meeting them and knowing about this, my body won't look like this. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have a meter it's called the ORP meter, and uh, yeah, you want to be looking at the, the value, right? So, uh, so the value here is what's the number? Uh, 600 or 700. So this is a positive number. <coughs> The mineral water is 500 something. Okay, so the mineral water is slightly better. Yeah. It's green. Okay. Okay, about 500. So bear in mind that this liquid is inside the container for quite some time, at least a few weeks. Sometimes it's a bit longer. So 480. Okay, about the same as the other waters. And then this one everybody have, yeah, tap so water. Four, five, four, six. 400 plus. Also, it's a, it's a positive number, right? So, lies on the that side of the scale. Minus, minus, minus seven. Yeah, it's really high. Just call it for minus, minus 800. This is, this is from the K machine, which is the most, uh, most powerful machine. Okay? So, um, it's not to say that uh, these waters are bad, otherwise they won't sell it, you know, or they won't encourage it, but uh, that, that one is better, okay? Okay, the other property is um, the, the pH, right, the, the alkaline property of the water. Um, so, we talked about uh, the blood pH, right, the range is uh, 7.35 to 7.45, and Let's say if you're ingesting uh, a lot of acidic food, right, from what I've learned, uh, the body will have to neutralize the acid and it will find um, things like calcium in the body. If you don't ingest calcium through eating greens, then they will take it from your bones. I have to neutralize because it is, it is key. Once it goes out of this range, we are unable to sustain, which means zero, zero heartbeat. Right? So I put it this way, when the body is unable to keep its balance, we call it, uh, we get sick. Right? So we, it, that gets our attention. We need to rest more uh, and we need to eat a little better. Right? When you go to uh, the doctor, they'll usually ask you to get some rest, you have MC, they'll ask you to eat more of a certain kind of food and avoid certain things. Most of the time, they'll tell you to avoid oils, dairy or alcohol, alcoholic drinks. And things that we should be um, avoiding in, in, in large quantities. So if you look at, uh, we talked about food, right? Uh, we, we talked about water. Now we just uh, take a look at food. We all have heard this so many times, you know, eat your greens, and we tell our children or grandchildren, eat your greens. And if you look at the greens, like uh, broccoli and, and fruits and vegetables, they tend to be on this side here, alkaline, right? No, no surprise. Alkaline water, alkaline diet. And on the other end, you have a highly processed food, cheese, meats, uh, and so does. So in general, uh, if you're looking at um, a good health, you would want to be a little bit more on this side than on that side. I used to be able to eat fast food up to 10 times a week. Up to. Right, so a lot of this kind of food. I thought it was okay, because I was young, just eat, you know. Later you'll see my cholesterol level. Whatever you eat, right, some things come up, some don't. Some stains I want. Okay, so then here's another illustration. This is how we are meant to uh, to eat food, right? In its uh, pure, in its fresh form, right? This was um, many years ago, where right? If you want to get food, you just go to your garden and that's what you have for lunch and dinner. Okay, so some more examples. Alkaline food. Okay, so the body is a healing machine, but it needs the right fuel. A healthy person, if they get a small cut, it will heal itself. If you get a cut and it doesn't heal, there's probably a condition in the body that prevents uh, your body to function at a level where it can heal itself. Right? So when the body is out of balance for a prolonged period, we call it a chronic disease. Right? This means that the body is being hurt faster than it can heal itself. So now let's uh, discover the pH values of uh, these different waters and beverages. 
And for that, we will use a dropper, right? The different colors will also tell you the different levels uh, of uh, acidity or alkalinity. I don't know if you can remember if the color is a bit more orangey or yellowish, right? It's on the acidic scale. If it's uh, on the blue purple color, right? It's on the alkaline scale. So you can see, although they look like clear liquids, from this test you can see the different levels of acidity. I just want to show you the pH chart. I think it's in a different slide. Okay, so now we want to just show you uh, what is the effect if uh, you're, going to, you're going to drink kangal water. And um, you, then we'll see how much kangal water you need to neutralize the, the acidity in the water. Okay, so we'll add a little bit of uh, kangal water. Okay, so a little bit does the trick. Okay. Oh, we forgot that one. <laughs> this is the special one. Especially acidic. So let's try to dilute the... Yeah, I'll just, yeah, just pour half away. Dilute the acid and um, let's try again. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, still acidic. So, how about the... We see if we can uh, make any of the waters acidic. Just by a few just drops. A little, so this is what happens when you have a sip of soda after drinking one liter of kangen water. Right, so this this is uh, the level of acidity. When you look at the the scale, right, from um, zero to seven and seven to fourteen, it is not um, uh, a scale where you're going up in the uh, even values. It's a logarithmic scale. So for example, like the, the Richter scale. So seven is neutral, eight is 10 times more alkaline, and nine is 10 times more alkaline than eight. Right, so this is uh, about a three or 2.5. That's why it's able to uh, impact the water in such a way. Okay, so now you kind of know what to avoid and uh, make the better choice, right? The waters uh, seem to be okay. Kangen water is very good. Um, you might want to give the soda a miss or drink lesser quantities. Okay, so this one I mentioned before. Um, again, if you want to search, uh, search for electrolyzed reduced water, right, you will find clinical studies being done on this water. Okay, so some views from the experts. Um, something that I just want to mention something about um, exercise and uh, and food. If you exercise every day, once a day, you have uh, seven events. We eat typically three, four times a day. I eat about five, sometimes six times a day, small meals and bigger ones. Um, and if you come, you can have uh, 21 to 30 over uh, eating events. So obviously, what you eat has a bigger impact over the exercise that you have. And if you just do the math. So all these doctors um, from different countries, they use uh, kangen water in their practice and they have seen uh, the effects of uh, kangen water. Uh, this falls under the category of alternative medicine. Right, there's, a, uh, there's mainstream medicine, which uh, mainly deals with uh, symptoms and prescription of drugs. And there's alternative medicine, which mainly deals with things like stress management, nutrition, what you eat and drink, from natural uh, herbs, spices, and, and foods. Okay, so I'm going to share a bit about what happened when I started drinking kind of water and eating a plant-based diet. Okay, so a cholesterol story. So it starts there, 209 total. It hits the high of uh, 261, 197. And I didn't go for any uh, tests. Maybe I didn't want to hear how bad it was uh, becoming. So my estimate, based on the increase, would have hit about 300, uh, 266 LDL. 
So before I started drinking kind of water, I started taking smoothies and uh, um, a little bit of vegetables for several months. And after about August, I started drinking. So maybe about two and a half months, uh, this is my result. Still not good. Um, for some, they will be on medication. So after several more months, about seven months, on a plant-based diet, which is an alkaline uh, diet, alkaline nutrition lifestyle, uh, this is my reading about two weeks ago. No medication, just food and water. Okay. So um, I don't know if you have uh, any similar uh, results, or maybe you haven't gone and test yet. So if you if you're curious, you can try you know, at uh, different points and see if it has any effect. I think the, uh, the drop started to accelerate when I introduced the uh, alkaline diet. Which only makes sense, if you believe in alkaline water, then you would not want to obviously eat things that are acidic, because then you will neutralize all the good things that you're doing for yourself. Okay, the third one is the microcluster technology that we're going to look into. And uh, in uh, Dr. Batman's book, right, this is a uh, short form, his name, yeah. Um, he says that a lot of the illnesses come from being dehydrated. And uh, many people, um, if you use this measure, right, if you, if you go to the toilet less than six times a day, you are probably somewhat dehydrated. They say a healthy person anywhere from uh, seven to eight. If you are in the Kanga water business, then probably a little bit more, more frequent, uh, depending on your consumption. So the average human body is about 75% of water and um, water has uh, a lot of effect on uh, the amount of water you drink has a lot of effect on things like your weight as well as uh, pains, right? If you have a lot of pains, there might be a link to the amount of water that you're putting in your body. Right? Maybe you have insufficient. Um, in before, I, I, when I look back, I realized that I was chronically dehydrated I usually don't uh, don't frequent the bathroom very much. I can spend a whole day teaching without uh, drinking water. And um, then I realized a lot of the problems that I had uh, simply might have to do with water and water consumption. So now I often bring anywhere from uh, one to two and a half liters of water when I go out. I also save a lot of money that way instead of uh, buying drinks outside. Okay, so the kind of water is more easily absorbed into the body than normal water. Right? I can drink quite a lot uh, without feeling bloated. I can down one liter of water uh, at one go in the morning. And um, I can go straight up for a run. I won't feel that, uh, that bloated feeling. If you are intending to do that, try with smaller quantities and then and work your way up to one liter. Okay, so if you look at different parts of the, the body, Right, there's different percentage of water. Our blood is seven, uh, eighty-three percent water. Even our bones, you can see, uh, twenty-two percent water. Right, so the quality of water that we drink is going to affect the body, and water goes everywhere. Right, same in the blood. That's why uh, we need to pay some attention to that. Why is hydration important? Okay, let's look at some dehydrated apple slices. So these are apple slices. Imagine for the human body, if we are dehydrated, something is going to happen to the texture of the, the skin as well. Okay, so you get the idea. So now we're going to try and make green tea in room temperature water, right? Most of the time when you entertain guests and you make tea, you don't use room temperature water, right? You boil the water. So let's do an experiment here. And uh, I'm going to pour some tap water. And then we're going to use the same tea bag and move it over. So you can see there's a little bit of color there. Here's kind of water. You can see the color is quite different, it's a lot richer. Okay, let's, let's, let's try again with the tap water. Since it's already wet, right? It's a little, little bit of color, but not quite the same as the kind of water. All 
I saw this is to show you um, the ability of the water to uh, absorb the tea from the tea bag. And it's the same thing if you are taking some dietary supplements uh, and if you're taking this water, it's going to enable your body to absorb uh, at a higher level. Okay. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do some magic. And I'm not going to uh, try to explain it, but you can see it for yourself. Uh, if you use uh, tap water, you pour more water, it gets more diluted. The kangar water, something different is happening. Okay, there's a lot of things that you can talk about water. We won't go into a lot of the scientific detail, uh, but you can see that uh, this water is quite different from what we get from our tap, as well as what you can buy uh, off the shelf. All right, thank you, Alice. Okay, so here's the explanation, right? Your normal water molecule uh, tend to be in uh, 15 to 20, pretty large clusters. And uh, when the water passes through the, the machine, right, and it uses electricity right, to produce the uh, ERW, electrolyzed reduced water, and the water comes out in smaller clusters, thereby better able to uh, penetrate, to extract uh, flavor from food as well. That's also another reason why people who cook with kangal water also say that uh, it tastes better. So uh, we have seen uh, several benefits, right? Uh, there's an antioxidant effect. Um, it helps to balance the body's uh, pH, especially if you're eating uh, a diet that is acidic. Okay, we're going to take a look later on at the detoxifying effect, right? And uh, later I'm also going to talk about uh, the savings that uh, I experience drinking water instead of uh, my usual habit of buying drinks when I'm outside. Okay, so we're talking about the detoxifying effect. Um, there are some uh, images that are going to appear which uh, shows the inside of the colon, right? And uh, here we have uh, Dr. Hiromi Shinya, and he's the founder or inventor of colonoscopy. And so he has a lot of photographs to uh, document his uh, um, progress with his patients. And he uses kind of water in his treatment protocol. So let's take a look at some uh, healthy and unhealthy colon, right? So just to let you know what you're going to see, eh? Okay, so a healthy one is all pink and it's clear. A healthy one is a bit clogged up. But you can see that uh, the color is also not so healthy looking, not so vibrant looking, right? Um, this one is a colon. Uh, is someone who has chronic constipation. This is before treatment. Uh, and this is uh, after the treatment. You can see quite a big difference. Some people who experience constipation, they are not getting the, the same results by drinking tap water as opposed to those who are taking uh, electrolyzed reduced water. Okay. And here's another one, somebody undergoing chemotherapy. You can see this, uh, this color is quite, uh, it's quite different. It's very drastic. This is uh, gastric inflammation. Right, before and after, and gout. Actually, from looking at the colon, I'm no expert, I can't tell the difference what is the disease, but you can see the before and after photos. All right. And he has written several books. Right, this is uh, from his, uh, a quote from his book. Uh, this is the water he drinks personally, and what he gives to his patients. Uh, I've learned from uh, Pastor Andrew that uh, in Japan, their medical uh, profession uh, largely run uh, in a non-profit way. So if there is a, um, a method of healing uh, that is effective, right, they would use it. They are not driven uh, by profit in the same way that other countries are driven. Okay, so um, can I just uh, invite uh, uh, any one of you who would like to share why you like uh, your kangen water machine. If some of you are uh, machine owners, you like to share uh, okay. your story. Anyone? Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, I'm Abel. I've been uh, using Kangen machine for more than a year, April 2016. Uh, why I did uh, I drink this water? Because uh, I have a history, family history of uh, high blood pressure and uh, diabetes. My mother died uh, 49 years old of stroke. And my father died 63 years old of, uh, 63 years old died of uh, diabetes. Since then, uh, before I drink this water, my cholesterol is quite high. And my BP is around 60 over 90. It's, uh, it's not good, right? Then uh, I don't want to take medication. That's why I tried a lot of supplements outside and drink it and no effect. Then when uh, someone introduces water, since I'm looking into something that uh, uh, I need to take it continuously and no medication, then I try this water. Then after, I think, uh, one month to two months, my blood pressure stabilized to one, 130 over 80. Then after that, I drink uh, continuously for six months. I check my cholesterol first, then drink continuously for six months. My cholesterol dropped to, uh, what's it called? It's, it's, uh, not borderline, it's uh, optimum, optimum, optimum value from uh, high, is that? high level yes so so far i'm going to check again this coming october and so far so good thank you thank you very sorry um later on is uh this anyone else this you want to share your story hello my name is samuel i have been drinking this water for about i think we started in march also four months ago. Um, about one and a half years ago, I actually had a heart attack. Uh, one artery was completely blocked. And, uh, I thank God that I survived. Uh, I have no choice. I was in the operating theater and uh, they just had to put a stent. And after that, after post-operation, they actually a lot of lot drugs. So I, I really suffered a lot. Life wasn't worth living at that time. Uh, during the time for me. Um, I have this uh, heart palpitation, very severe one, and my heart is pain. And then I have breathlessness, or shortness of breath, the layman term. A stranger actually introduced this water to me. He brought me to this presentation. When I saw it, I said, I I'm going to have this water, because you all the certification and testimonies. And um, three weeks later, on the third week after consuming the water, I, I, I felt something different. I, I don't feel any... Uh, heart palpitation anymore and also breathlessness. So I believe this water actually killed me a bit. Now it's four months I don't have I don't have I don't experience it anymore. And recently I discovered I when I was in the army actually I had to slip this medical term is collapsed this because you carry heavy things. And uh, when I'm not careful well, that was how many years ago? 1970s. So if I'm not careful I always get get it again because the, this, this actually hit the nerve. So sometimes the rest in bed for two weeks. And after drinking this water, I realized that when I'm not careful, I realized that I don't get it. That's why even right now, when I get a bit of pain in me, I can still walk. So I believe also this water is helping my body to actually uh, heal itself gradually for such a long time injury. So I want to thank uh, uh, Kangen Water for actually changing my life. How much do you drink a day? Uh, uh, the formula actually is um, <laughs> your weight in kilogram divided by 20. Okay, so I'm supposed to drink 4 liters a day. I still haven't reached that yet uh, because of work. Like, sometimes I'm so engrossed in my, my <coughs> that uh, maybe one day I drink about 2.5 to 3. I um, still want to work towards 4 because I got still some uh, Long time uh, injury that uh, is improving, but I believe the more water, the, the correct amount of the drink will help. Yeah, thank you. Maybe this is an idea for you. I usually find that uh, I can drink more water in the early part of the day. So before I leave the house, I can have about one to one and a half liters of water before I leave. And um, a little bit more throughout the morning. Okay, thank you very much for your sharing. Um, 
So as I mentioned, there are five types of water, and uh, now we will uh, take a look at uh, Kangen uh, uh, water that's 11.5 uh, pH, right? So this is a uh, water that has a uh, strong cleaning power, right? The 11.5 and the 2.5 uh, can be used for cleaning, but for, for, for different items. So for example, uh, we're going to take a look at the 11.5 water, and we're going to see the difference between uh, washing uh, the rice as well as the tomatoes with the normal tap water and uh, the kind of water. Right, so this is 11.5, the water is clear, um, it's not ready for drinking. Okay, so we'll just uh, let the water sit for a little while. Uh, for the rice, we won't let you try it out because it's not cooked. But for the tomatoes, if you want to, uh, if you want to try the difference, um, with the oil you can have a go. Okay, so we're waiting for the water to uh, clean. You can actually see the, the difference in the color. So the idea behind um, using strong kanga water is that it cleans at a, at a different level. Um, it's also very obvious in uh, certain foods where pesticide is uh, sprayed on the food and the normal water cannot remove the oil-based pesticide. Okay, so now we'll pour the uh, tap water that is used to wash the tomatoes. This looks almost the same. And this is the probably the oil-based pesticide. And you can see the color has been removed. And then same here with the strawberries or grapes especially. I'm told that grapes and sometimes apples uh, put layer of wax on uh, the skin. So you can also use this uh, for cleaning. I use it uh, every day. For my veggies, I'll just uh, put it in a jar, pour the 11.5, and um, uh, clean my, my veggies that way. Yeah, and uh, in the kitchen, right, um, if you use uh, oil, I don't use, but if you, if you use oil in your cooking, um, when you use a normal cloth and you wet it, sometimes the, the oil doesn't come up so readily, right, because oil and water, typically they don't mix. But if you are using the 11.5 water, right, uh, it is able to emulsify the oil. It's easier for you to uh, clean up the dirt. So if you happen to have uh, some oil on your clothing, uh, you can also pour some 11.5 um, either directly into your washing machine or you can soak it and uh, remove part of it. They are actually in the, in the product brochure, there's 44 uses of the water. Before we be going through all of them, but we just want to show you, uh, give you a broad overview of what uh, what this water can do. Okay, so moving along, when the um, when you take the 11.5 water from the machine, uh, from one side, uh, the other hose comes out the 2.5 uh, strong acidic water, and this is another uh, uh, very important part of. Uh, utilizing your, your, your machine. Right, this helps you to make sure that your food is as clean as can be, as well as your house. And you can reduce the use of uh, different household cleaners by using this to clean. And for the 2.5, we use it for disinfecting. It can be uh, disinfecting your, um, your cutlery, your tabletops, the floor. And it can also be used uh, uh, on your skin. Right? Uh, here you see um, different users. Like here you have someone who has uh, either a growth or a wound on the leg, and they have used it. I'll show you some before and after photos. They have used it uh, for uh, different reasons. For example, some people have uh, eczema, psoriasis, or allergies. Uh, and after use, you can see. Okay, this is one case of eczema. Um, I have a relative who. Uh, I think it's currently completing chemotherapy and uh, the legs are, uh, the, the feet are almost purplish, almost black 
and the visits to the skin center don't seem to uh, to improve the situation. So I brought some uh, 2.5 water. Okay, the relative will occasionally soak her feet in the water, and uh, after a short time of uh, two three weeks, we get to see uh, results. All right again. Uh, if you want to go into the scientific detail, it can be very lengthy and boring. But what we know is uh, it works. Okay. And um, if you have a, a little cut, right, either yourself or someone in the family, you can also spray directly on the wound. It will help to uh, stop the bleeding more quickly. Right. This is a uh, skin condition on the hand. You can see beyond, before and after, there is an improvement in the condition. Sometimes uh, people feel very helpless. I had one friend who posted on Facebook, you know, she had this eczema thing coming up, then a lot of people come to help, you know, either with sympathy or with oils, you know. So I came with my water, I gave it to her. Um, I actually gave her almost like 9 meters of 2.5. I got a lot of jugs at me. So I'm still waiting to see what the result is. Okay, this one, the date is uh, November 2011. And uh, the next photo, this one is 17, so about slightly less than three weeks. And this is uh, one month later, 21st December and end of the year. You can see that uh, there's a difference. Okay. The, the spots are, are gone. Let's skip that one. Okay, so I'm just going to share a little bit. Uh, since I have uh, owned my Kanga machine, I've uh, saved a lot of money on uh, buying bottled water, buying drinks, also cleaners, toners. I really don't buy toners, but if you if you buy uh, toners, you can actually replace uh, the toner with the beauty water, right? Which we did not talk about. But you can ask your uh, the person who brought you here to just show you where the buttons are on the machine outside. And of course, potential medical bills. Now, the only thing I pay for is my cholesterol test. Go to the 24 hour clinic, cholesterol test is $10. Just for cholesterol only. Alright, personally, I save, I calculated, I spend usually uh, about $200 on coffee, drinks, especially polka, green tea. I always drink polka, green tea. Uh, I drink lots of it. I thought green tea, or green tea is healthy, right? Yeah, but not the one in the can. Not the one with the artificial sugar. Um, so if you look at uh, per person, right, this is a savings of two thousand five hundred dollars uh, per year. Okay, I'm quite extreme. Uh, even uh, at least also things are quite extreme. I don't drink anything. I bring water everywhere I go. Maybe like once a month I order a drink outside. Uh, otherwise, I would just bring my water. Right. Uh, so I save a lot of money. Uh, if we have four or five people in the household, then you can just multiply that amount. It depends on uh, what you drink. I used to drink uh, uh, alcohol. Uh, I would say not, not not on a very regular basis, but that definitely adds to the bill. And now I'm I have no craving for sugar uh, or polka green tea. I have no craving to drink whiskey or beer. When I do, you know, take a sip of beer, I actually don't really enjoy it anymore. Well, that's the, for me, that's a good thing. Okay, it also uh, means that uh, less empty plastic bottles and cans in our environment. So do you notice there's some people in the world that tend to almost never get sick. Or if they get sick, it's just a short while. Or even, you know, your kids or grandkids in the childcare. There are always some kids that always get sick and some, some that don't. I believe that it's influenced by what you put in the body. Of course, sleep, stress management, social support and exercise do play a, a part. Um, but I think most of you will agree that what you put into your body does make an influence. That's why we don't give infants alcohol. Right? We know that it's not going to benefit them in any way. Most probably, uh, it, will, it will cause harm. So, when I'm in my 80s and 90s, this is not, this is not a future picture of me. Eh? Yes. I wouldn't want to be in this state. Right? Um, I have a relative, a close relative, who had a heart attack uh, some time ago, as well as cancer. That's why I have extra, I uh, pay extra attention. Because if I don't, then uh, the same part is waiting for me. I'd rather be like the guy on the, on the right. So, 
So uh, I feel very inspired when I see a uh, 60 plus year old woman winning competition, winning competition, 70, 80 year old men breaking records for their age category. Uh, and I'm still testing my cargo machine. I'll share with you my running story. So I got this in August. Uh, my my PPT story is that uh, in the last three years I failed once and barely passed twice. Right, so this is my 2.4 timing uh, for the previous year. I'm not going to show you everything here, but just look at the under nine months. Okay. Uh, January. Okay, previously when I first started, I can only run 1.5 kilometer, then my knees were hurt. So I'm thinking, I drink cargo water. They say, why oh, your pain will go away? Like, uh, am I not drinking it now? So I, I tried to uh, up it the level. I went to eat more alkaline foods. Then it went away. I, I just slowly increased my distance. By January, I was doing 10 km. Uh, when I took my IPPT, I got gold for the first time in 12 years. So this is significant for me because about five, six years ago, I was excused from IPPT because of my back injury. And when I brushed my teeth, I say again, when I brush my teeth, I have to stop and rest. Because I'll get tired. So for someone coming from an elite unit in the, in the police force to the state where I have to stop while brushing my teeth and continue again, uh, it didn't feel good. Right? It feel like, what, what's happening? I know I'm, I'm not yet uh, 80. Why, why do I have to stop while brushing my teeth? So for me, the thing is, it's a, it's a big thing for me. Uh, last month, I did my first 21k run on my own training run, and uh, earlier this month, 33.4km uh, training run. Next week, I'll be doing this Buddha Reservoir. If you have nothing to do, uh, you know, see me around and run around in a circle, <laughs> I'll be there. And the reason why I'm doing this is also to, not only to challenge myself, um, but to um, test the machine. Right? The machine says it's good, right? So let's. Let's test it out. This, this, is, my, this is what I'm doing. Um, and when we are in our uh, 80s and 90s and 100s, uh, we still need to make uh, choices. Okay, you know, we're still going to the supermarket and think what to eat. Um, and as you can see here, there's always two voices in the head, right? You go and uh, walk past the store and uh, there's this uh, fragrance. But we have to decide what are we going to put into our body today. So we've seen this already all this alkalizing food that's going to help uh, repair your body um, falls into that category all the greens, veggies, plant-based food we definitely don't want uh, to have uh, uh, sickness in our family much, uh, much less for you know, our loved ones and our children and we don't want to be feeding them the, or recommending them the, the wrong things okay? we want to be strong not only for ourselves but the people that we love and again, when I'm old, I want to be uh, able to do all kinds of stuff. This morning, I had the opportunity to, to meet some people who are about 10 years younger than me. They are like, you know, 26, 27. And then, oh, knee pain, can I pass up PPT? This pain, that pain, they're 10 years younger than me. So I'm thinking, it's got nothing to do with age. It's got to do with uh, what you do with your body, how much movement you have. You don't, please, please don't uh, go out of this room and say, I want to do an ultra marathon. You do whatever is interesting to you, uh, whatever uh, kind of activities or movement you like. You might like swimming or something. Or if you if you don't have something, you know you could probably discover and find out what somebody else's uh, somebody else's uh, favorite exercise is. And if you want to be in optimal health for yourself, right? Then uh, my recommendation is uh, take this water and eat alkaline foods. Right? You can collect it from your friend's house. You can collect it from the office. Uh, and test the water. Okay, so this is uh, my message. And uh, just remember, change your water, and you can change your life. Drink this water, you change your life for the better. Right? Thank you. This is the end of the presentation. Um, if you'd like to uh, have a look at the, the machines, right? You can uh, just feel free to. Uh, go and take a look. If you've already taken a look and if you'd like to uh, mingle around and ask some questions, then uh, I'll be I'll be around. And uh, I hope to, uh, to see you again and wish you the best of health. Thank you.